Let's verify that the infinite series diverges. First we have a sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 1000 times 1.055 raised to the n. So this is the form of a times r to the n, which is a geometric series. And we know that a geometric series diverges if r is greater than or equal to 1 or r is less than or equal to negative 1. Another way we can rewrite this is the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1. In our case, r is equal to 1.055, which is greater than 1, and therefore this series diverges. The next one we have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n squared over n squared plus 1. Always when you're looking at a sum, it's always good to find the limit of the inside. Okay, so if I take the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared over n squared plus 1, we end up getting 0, I'm sorry, we end up getting 1 as the limit. So by the nth term test, the series diverges. The nth term, set, nth term test says if the limit is not zero, then it automatically diverges. Now that is not to say that if the limit goes to zero, it converges. The only thing that nth term test does is tell you when it diverges. It doesn't say anything about converging.